Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to show how to prove this given theorem. If f maps a to b is a function and i a comma i b are identity functions on a comma b respectively, then show that f circle i a is equal to f equal to i b circle. Fine. Right? For your information, whenever you have to show that you know the two functions are equal, a very simple thing is show that they are defined on the same domain, and also show that you know. their map if you will consider an element and then find out uh, and then give give it as input to both the functions if they are mapping to the same element fine that's when you can say that the two functions are equal fine uh, i'll go step by step this is literally a small theorem uh, it's it's pretty small okay in length uh, in length i mean now see uh, what we are given okay here we are given that f maps a to b is a function and i a comma i b are identity functions on capital a comma capital b This is what is given. What I need to prove? I need to show that f circle i a is equal to f is equal to i b circle. First, my proof is going to be in two parts. First part, I am going to show that f circle i a is equal to f, and the second part, I am going to show that i b circle f is equal to f. Now, one very important but basic point to consider that f circle i a in f circle i a first, first, always i a will come first. Okay, i a will come first. That's why you can see my statement. Now, since in F circle I A, that's why I started with I A. I A is an identity function on A. Basically, it maps from capital A to capital A since it's an identity function. Okay. And next, F maps A to B. It's already given. Now, where is this I A going from? I A is going from A to B. I'm sorry. I A is going from A to A, and F is going from A to B. So, A to A, this will become input of this, and then this should this will ultimately be mapped to B. So basically, a to a to a b uh, b. So basically, a once again, I'll repeat myself. Uh, I might have gone there, gone wrong there. A to a, and then this a will be given to this as input, and then this will be go going to b. So ultimately, what I'd get is a to b. So that's why f circle i a maps a to b is also a function. Fine. Once again, understand. I'll just repeat. I know this is an important part. In f circle i a, first i a comes. That's why you know some people get confused why it is maps a to b, why not b to a, why not b to b. So Something. This is a fraud. This is a thing. Can see where I A is going from. I A is going from A to A. Now this A and this A are like this will definitely match if you are going right. So then you can you can sort of think like striking these two off, and then it's going from A to B. Clear. I hope I made myself clear here. Next. So basically, F circle I A maps A to B is a function. First, I showed that it's a function. Uh, I need to show that it's a function. Now next, if I, uh, I now next thing, if you'll observe. F circle I is defined from A to B, and F F maps A to F F maps A to B. Both have the same domain capital A, right? As I mentioned, both have the same domain capital A. So this is my first part of uh, first part of proof. Like in my first part, this is the first part. <laughs> okay. Now next, they are defined on the same part, same domain capital A. Now next, I'm going to consider an element A belonging to A. Okay. I'm going to now then I'm going to give it as input to the two functions first. It's always better to start with a bit complicated one. So f circle i is a complicated one out of f and f circle i. So give it to f circle i first. F circle f circle i of a. I've given it as an input to this function. So uh, I'm going to write it as f circle i of a. Now next f circle i of a is nothing but f of i of a. Well, there's a basic definition like f f circle g. It's nothing but f of g of it's something like that. It's it's a fundamental okay. Now next, what is this i of a? Since it's an identity function, it's something like you can consider it's like f of x equal to x. So whatever you give input, that's what the output is going to be. So that's why i of a is nothing but the output also is going to be this one. Since i of a is nothing but a for all a belongs to a. That's what I told you. So this is nothing but f of a. Now you see these two are these two are going to the same element. So otherwise you could also consider like f circle i of a. I is equal to f of a. Then, if you think of this, like actually, this is not the case. You can just think that you know you can just close a and a. So that's why f circle i is. F. Actually, this they two are map going to the same element. That's why the given two functions are equal. First, we show that the domain is same. Next, we are showing that if you give give some input, they are mapping to they are mapping to the same element, and that's why f circle i is equal to f. Now, next, let's go to the next part. This I'm marking it as one first part of my next in my second part. My second part, my first part of the second part. Okay, <laughs> this is my second part. In that, the first part. Now, I I B circle F, I B circle F. Again, in I B circle F, what comes first? In I B circle F, first F comes first. First F comes first. 
So that's why since f maps a to b, that's why you can observe the order in which I wrote also. In the textbook also, you'll find the same order. Since f maps a to b and ib maps b to b are functions, a is going from, uh, I mean, f is going from a to b and ib is going from b to b. So a to b, and then this will be input to this. Ultimately, it's going to be. So ultimately, if you think of like uh, cut, cutting off, like not exactly cutting off, think that uh, think that no need to write these, just map the ends. So that's what I'll get. IB circle F maps A to B. Again, this is an important point to understand because you could get confused in exam and just write it as B to A or something. That's why I'm going into a bit detail even in this minor step, fine? Next. In fact, it's not a minor one. It's actually a major one. Now next is also a function. Now IB circle F and F are defined on the same domain. Again, this this all this, this one's domain is also A. F is mapping from A to B, so therefore its domain is also capital A. Now next. Same, consider some element and input it to the complicated function IB circle F of A. Now, IB of F of A. Okay. Now, what is this F of A? Uh, okay, don't consider like that. Now, uh, F of A is, does it belong to A or B? It belongs to B actually. Because I'm giving an input from element of, I'm, I'm giving an ele uh, element from capital A to F, then my output will be an element from capital B. So this is something like an element from capital B. F of A will belong to capital B because okay, I'll just show it. Fine. Now the now this is nothing but F of A belongs to B. That's what I wanted to explain. F maps A to B. Therefore, F of A will belong to capital B. Now the since F of A belongs to capital B, what what is this identity function? It's an identity function of B. Whenever you will give an element of B to this identity function, it will return the same element. Now F of A is an element of that capital B. So hence, if I'll give it as an input, what I'd get as an output is that same element F of A. That's why this is nothing but equal to F of A, fine? Therefore, yes, now IB circle F is equal to F. That means like they are defined on the same domain and they are, you know, if I'll give some ele uh, random element uh, as an input, it's mapping to that, both are mapping to the same element. This basically means that the two functions are same. The from one and two, therefore f circle i is equal to f is equal to i b circle. That's it. As I told you, the number of steps are short, but yes, explanation is there. So I hope you understood this theorem. Not just this theorem. I made other theorems related to functions as well. I'll put the link to the playlist in the description. Please do check it out before you go. And if you like this video solution, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And not just that. If this is your first time coming across to my channel. Please do subscribe to it. Thank you. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from 19 Orkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher.